but I'm glad that you didn't click out of the video because I said that something good was coming. days ago or yesterday I don't remember um, I got a question on how to win an essay competition so I won the young economist of the year essay competition well I didn't win the first prize I got runners-up the best for like the topic so there were like five um, topics to choose from I think um, so six winners and 1400 entries and I was one of them but I also entered a lot more I entered five other competitions and I lost them now does this mean it's down to luck? Is there a strategy? I don't know, but I'm going to use my experience because I have 10 top tips that I think, you know, if I knew them, then I'm like, the Young Economist of the Year was the last competition that I did, and the other five were like earlier ones, and so I think I used my experience from failing at those to kind of try my best in this one which maybe is why I won I don't know but I am going to share my top tips because you know the channel is all about providing value and my goal is basically for this channel is that every video I hope I hope that it will help at least one person if it helps at least one person then I am happy and it's all about creating an impact in the world because at this time 2020 like I'm stuck in the house, there's nothing I can do and I want to help but I can't go and be a doctor because I have no skill and I can't go and just work at Tesco's because I don't want to put myself at risk and I want to help but I also don't have skills and stuff so basically yeah that's why I'm making the video um, please like and subscribe because future videos are also going to be valuable they might not be about school but they're gonna be something that I think everyone should know about because life is all about improving who you are and as I learn about different things I really want to share it with you guys because it's about growing together so let's get into the video um, by the way I think that yes I did do an econ economics competition but um, the tips that I wrote are for I think Kind of, kind of general and also for like everyone I think other than the last one might be a tiny bit economic -y, but I think you know everyone should watch this video to the end because the general tips are useful I mean I think so <laughs> but anyway if you agree then comment and like and subscribe if you don't agree then dislike because feedback is important uh, I think because um, my essay wasn't put on the website, so I don't think it's fair to share it, but basically the, the essay I did was the universal basic income is the best solution to handle the large scale displacement of labour due to automation in the coming years. Do you agree? Now, to be honest, I think we need a universal basic income now, a year 2020, because everyone is struggling. I'm struggling. So, talking about the question, I chose the question that I related to the most not the question that I was interested in the most. So it's different. The reason I chose a question that I related to the most is because I had a kind of emotional attachment when I was writing the essay. I really related and really understood and really wanted to say something about it. It's not really about like a question that I'm interested in and I think I can say a lot about it, but the question that I relate to and although I don't know if I can say a lot about it I know that I would want to research into it like just yeah it's different from being interested in it I think 
because there was another one that I was interested in, but I didn't go for that one because it, I couldn't really relate to it. Um, so I sort of, I, I hope it makes sense, basically. That's number one. Number two, pay attention to the rules and the marking guidelines. Basically, they might not tell you, but on the website, they typically will give you a rough, like, say on what they're looking for. So there is normally, let me just go on the website and check. <sighs> so, as you can see, there are like, there's a lot, basically there's like, how many? The Young Economist website, there are 25, like, different, like, rules, yeah, 25 rules. And then, if you check question, question, if you check bullet point 10, it says, entries in response to each question will be judged according to their originality, quality of writing, economic content, and quality of economic argument. Now, from my memory last year they said something more specific but so I think firstly you should like make a note originality you have to be it has to be about your point which relates to my next next tip I think quality of writing the grammar the structure everything about that economic content so the concepts the different terminology um, the quality of your argument so yeah, is it actually, is there stuff, is there science stuff to back it up? Um, is there, you know, yeah, is there facts and figures to back it up? But yeah, I'm just thinking on the spot. I have my notes here, which I planned on what to say. So that's number two. So make sure you kind of pay attention to these little nuggets because they are important. They tell you exactly what, not exactly, but a vague idea at least that's still good than like ignoring it completely and not even paying attention to it um so like telling you what you need to be aware of when you're writing the competition and you know how to get marks basically you know you have to revise the syllabus and the mark scheme for a level so that's the same as s writing essays i think um number three is read examples so how i did it i actually really did this I mean, all the tips that I say, I did it, and I won. So I do not know if there's a link. I don't know if it's luck. Um, so if you... you... do not win, it's not my fault. Just putting it out there in case. You know, you, you don't come back commenting, like, I lost because of you, because... Sorry. So tip three is basically reading um, the previous winner's essays. So, and also matching it against the marking criteria. This is actually what I did, and I think it was helpful since I, you know, won. But um, I don't know if I said this already. I think I did. But yeah. Um, so basically, what I did is I like I would have I would have shown you guys if I didn't delete it. And I, like I had no intention of starting like YouTube and doing this, but like here I am. So I'm telling you and you know make notes because this is actually what I did. Um, so I opened a document. I love Google Docs. Like yeah. And basically, what I did was I basically made bullet points of what I just talked about, like the judging criteria, you know, originality, quality, structure, all that. And then I read. I went through the winners' essay that are normally essays that are normally available on the website. Usually they will publish like. The number one winner and so I read that essay and then what I did was I picked out like their content that matched the judging criteria so like quality and originality like if I thought that the idea was very new then I would take it I would like copy and paste it onto the bullet point like below the bullet point and then I would also add my own notes like reasons why I thought that the person won so I thought the person won because his idea was very new oh he used concepts from history oh he used concepts from psychology that's very interesting that's maybe why he's like original the essay's original. So I did that, and then, yeah, comparing it rules against criteria, yeah, basically that is tip two. Sorry about this rambling, this one's a bit all over the place. I think this one is a really good tip that I don't think anyone has talked about except me. No, I'm kidding, probably people have, but like this was an idea I thought about after doing so many essays that failed, so that's what I learned to do. Um, I hope that you do it earlier than me because, yeah, it just gives you a great kind of starting point on where, what it takes to win, I guess, because the examples you see are actually examples that won. And, you know, if you're serious about trying your best, then do it. Number four, tip four. So tip, 
tip four. Now, tip four goes with um, how to be original, how to be, yeah, how to be yourself. No, yeah, how to portray your own opinions. So what I did was, number one, I brainstormed ideas without doing any research. So, you know, like universal basic income. I didn't learn anything about it at school, but I do know the basics. It's a universal basic income. Um, so basically what I did was just brainstorm what I thought UBI was and what I thought the answer was basically to the question like can it be useful when like robots displace labour yeah so basically I wrote down all my original ideas without doing any research anything at all and that's just what I did that's before writing the essay so yep because then you can add it in with your research later on and it adds a bit of originality um it will do trust me it will do. tip five tip five is research a lot so what do i mean is research a lot now i went yeah i obviously i went on google i don't know how many like articles i went through i did all of this in one week so it might be quicker than other people but i did go all in in that week meaning from morning to night, I was only thinking about the essay because that's all I had in my mind and I tend to do things, I don't want to say like deadlines, but I tend to, I tend to give 100% attention to the things last minute. I'm worth trying to that. But, yeah, so research a lot, so Google articles and stuff. I also went to the library, I actually got books, physical books, and I basically skimmed through all the info and just if once I saw something, something that I think might be useful, I put it, I wrote it down on my document. And I went to bookstores when I couldn't really find the book. And in the library, I went to bookstores to just like have a snippet, have a quick look, and then just kind of try to remember it a little bit. But, you know, buy the book if you can, because that's not respectful. And I am sorry, really sorry. But, you know, I know I will read the books again in the future, because I'm going to study economics. So, yeah. Tip number six is basically save different drafts. So, you know, you have, I think, treat it like a personal statement. You have draft one, draft two, draft three. So you can... Like, if anything, you can go back to draft one if you think draft three isn't good, because you might need to. And I think you're not allowed to show your teachers or anything, or proofread it. I mean, I did. I showed no one my essay. I didn't show my teachers, I didn't show anyone, and I just, like, gave in. I wish I could ask for some grammar help, because, like, I really need grammar help for everything, and I can't believe I didn't ask at all, and I, well, and... I knew I didn't because I only had one week left to give it in and there was like no time to ask for grammar help because my teachers don't give me help. But anyway, um, so yeah, I think if you're allowed to ask for help, then ask for a bit of help, but I had zero help. So it's possible to have zero help and do well. Um, tip seven. Check your grammar, clear paragraphs. I think for me, what helped me the most was because I, from last year, it really, it, I remember clearly that I said like clear and easy to understand or something like that. And so when I looked back at the previous year's winner, he had, he had it really structured. So he, he had questions at the top and then answers at the bottom. And I did basically exactly the same. And I won too, so it's interesting. Basically, I asked myself, you know, I, I wrote it down, like in the essay, in the actual essay, I said, like, you know, if US, if the UBI is a good, like, is effective, then the following questions would need to be answered. Question one, question two, question three, and then I answered the questions one by one in each paragraph, and so I think it was really clear to the examiner to the judge I mean it was really clear to the judge and the like it was really clear and structured and straight to the point 
So unlike my videos where I ramble on, you really need to be straight to the point and don't waffle because, you know, judges have to mark a thousand essays and you really need to stick out. You need to stand out and say that, wow, you know, clear, straight to the point, easy to understand. Yeah, you're going through to the next round because like for essay competitions, there's not one round, but like many rounds. So, yeah. You know, for a different essay competition, I got to round one, but I didn't get to round two, so... Yeah. And use subject terminology, so make sure to use, like, specific economics terms if it's an economics essay. You know, don't, don't, like, skim. Don't be light on that, I think. You should really do research and really, if you think that there's a word for the phrase then try to find it, try to look it up. Now, I've, there's, I used a lot of words that I actually, I mean, I understood that time because I learned it, but now I don't actually remember what they mean. But I know I will learn it because I'm gonna do a whole degree in it. So I'm not worried. And I really enjoyed it. Um, tips uh, eight, right, I think. Basically, um, Referencing. Now, most essay competitions, you need to do referencing. And I think in university, the essays you need to write also, you need to have references and stuff. And, like, I don't really... I think it looks really nice. Like, it's really cool and looks nice to have references. But, like, it's a hassle to, like, just find it and organise it and stuff. And I did use an online, basically, automatic reference generator thing. Um, it basically all you need to do is type in the source and then like how they structure the reference you know you have to have like source page author year like that there's like online stuff to help you to just automatically do it for you so I don't I hope I could use it in uni because that would be really helpful but I don't know um, so research how to do that because they said that you know the structure is it quality of content or like mini stuff like it's the same as grammar treat it as in like, it's as important as grammar so <laughs> tip nine so tip nine is basically more about economics i think well i mean it depends basically you need to use evaluation treat it as a normal a level essay where you need to use evaluation however you need to be a bit more creative with it what I mean is that you have to, it relates to my first point where I said choose a question that you relate to the most and then when you do these evaluations you have to think from different perspectives. So for this UBI essay I did, I had to think from the perspective of someone from low income who has low income, someone higher income, some like the government and you know firms, employers, employees and Basically, I had to put different hats on, and when I mean think from their perspective, I mean think from their perspective. Basically, you really need to think as if you are the person going through it. And it sounds easy, but it's actually not that easy. But then it might be easy for you. Like, for me, it's just like, I really had to put myself in like if I was a boss what would I think about the universal basic income you know I work so hard for all this money and I get the same income as someone who didn't work hard and then when I'm from a poor perspective I say well I actually do work hard but I'm just not the smart one and I work physically hard and I should get paid a lot more than I am being paid you know I need to live a life that I want to live I deserve to have money I deserve to you know have a bit more I don't deserve to be exploited and you know, um, the employers have a lot more than they need. It's not fair, you know, income inequality. And I think I'm going to keep going if I... Don't stop now. Um, to be honest, I should revise economics. I haven't touched it for ages. There's just too much going on in my mind. Too much to do. Like, I need to stop. I need to stop talking. Last tip. Okay, so last tip is basically if you lose, it's really no big deal because I won. I got rejected from Oxford. My friend lost. He got accepted to Oxford for the same course. 
So it won't really matter if you win or lose. It's about how you get basically. By the way, don't click out of the video just because I say it's okay to lose. It sounds like it's the ending, but it's not the ending. Keep watching. Just saying. Because I know that you might want to click out right now. Just hear me. Yeah, so basically, why you should do the essay, even if you know, you're, th you're not confident and you think you might lose and stuff, and maybe if you have lost, you know, why, and you're upset about it, then I'm going to tell you now that there is nothing to be upset, upset about, because it prepares you on writing essays in university, gives you content to talk about in your personal statement, in your interview, you know, if you're not sure that you want to study the degree, then, you know, you're having that experience, you see, oh, I thought I was interested in economics, but actually, that essay I wrote it was so hard, it was just draining. I don't like how am I gonna write essays for three years on that subject on I can't do that. Well I can, but like maybe you can't. So, you know, maybe a different subject for uni might be a good idea and you may not have known unless you did this essay competition. It gives you stuff to talk about in general, like in groups, you know. Makeup, Snapchat, TikTok. It's okay to talk about I mean, everyone talks about it, but like you want to throw in a bit of nerdy stuff into the chat, you know? That's what keeps it exciting. Finally, is that life is about rejections. Now, endings always are like this, but like honestly, you will get rejected and you will get, you will fail. Um, that's life. You know, economics, there is always a boom and a bust. No, like boom, slump recession and we are currently going through one we are currently going through the worst one in century well like in terms of maybe not economics but i have a feeling that probably will be but you know success never comes without failure without rejection and i think you losing or failing if you have is probably a really good thing because you can learn how to deal with it and in future it will be helpful but I'm not saying this video I'm not like my intention of making this video is to is hopefully to help you win and help you succeed however don't blame me if you don't and really don't be upset if you lose because you know you will still get into the uni you want to as long as other stuff are good so make sure to check my other videos i have a lot of other videos so yep like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe i don't know why i'm doing this but if you're still watching then thank you very much and you know if you have any other help like video ideas oh, i didn't breathe for quite a long time but if you have any video ideas then please you know comment them I will try my best to make it because I am not the type of youtuber who basically does a few videos and gives up I'm someone who uh, I think I can be consistent I think I probably shouldn't say this because you know that's a big thing to say and plus now it's kind of a different period because I don't have school so I have more time so yeah anyway quality over quantity oh that is that's yeah qu quality over quantity how can I not say this in an essay competition advice video quality over quantity don't write too much little mini like don't write too many facts yes don't write too many facts but focus on writing one fact and elaborating on that fact. Oh my gosh, this is such an important tip that I just remembered. I'm sorry. But I'm glad that you didn't click out on the video because I said that something good was coming. And yes, quality over quantity, really important. Talk a lot about a little, really important. So, hope you liked it and see you next time.